Hi, my name is Joy and welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the blossom bucket hat that is perfect gift for your little one. For this project, you will need a 5-ply milk cotton in shades of khaki white, medium coffee, rose pink, and green. And I used 3.5mm hook, stitch marker, tape string needle, and scissors. And here are the stitches and abbreviations that I use for this pattern. Now let's start our project. First, let's create a magic ring. Grab your yarn, twist and hold like this. Then insert your hook into the magic ring. Pull the yarn through the loop. Then secure the loop with two chains at the same time our turning chain and not counted as a stitch. Pull the yarn tail a little bit. Then let's create our first double crochet. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the magic ring. Yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop. Now you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull the yarn through the first 2 loops. Yarn over again and pull the yarn through the remaining loops on your hook. Now you have your first double crochet. Create 11 more double crochet for you to have a total of 12 double crochet for the first round. Join the first round with a slip stitch. To slip stitch, insert your hook into the first stitch. Then pull the yarn through the loop and to all the loop on your hook. Create again a turning chain made of two chains. Then work two double crochet into the first stitch. For this round, you will make 2 double crochet into each stitches and it will give you a total of 24 stitches for your round 2. To join the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. And create again a turning chain made of 2 chains. Now, for round 3, work 1 double crochet into the first stitch. And 2 double crochet into the next one. Repeat the process all the way around and it will give you a total of 36 stitches for your round 3. To join the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. Then create a turning chain made of two chains. Now we're done with our round three. Let's proceed to round four. Work one double crochet into each of the first two stitches. Thank you. 
then two double crochet into the next one repeat the pattern all the way around and it will give you a total of 48 stitches for your round 4. To join the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. Then, create again a turning chain made of two chains. Now we're done with our round 4. Let's proceed to round 5. Round 5, work 1 double crochet into each of the 3 stitches. Then, work 2 double crochet into the next one. Repeat the process all the way around and it will give you a total of 60 stitches for your round 5. To join the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. Then create a turning chains made of two chains. Kung ang size na gusto mong gawin ay for one year old below, pwede ka nang mag-stop na increasing dito sa round 5. Then proceed ka na sa round 7. Pero dahil ang gagawin ko ay for one to two years old, let's add another round of increasing which is our round 6. For round 6, Work 1 double crochet into the first stitch, then 2 double crochet into the next one. Next, work 1 double crochet into each of the four stitches then two double crochet into the next one Repeat the pattern of 1 double crochet into each of the 4 stitches, then 2 double crochet into the next one until you reach the 4th stitch to the last. Then join the round with slip stitch, chain 2 for turning chains. Now we are done with our round 6 and for this round, we have a total of 72 stitches. For round 7, work 1 double crochet into each stitches all the way around. Join the round with slip stitch,
then chain 2 for turning chains. Repeat the process of one double crochet into each stitches until you have a total of 12 rounds for below 1 year old and 13 rounds for 1 to 2 years old. I'm done and I have a total of 13 rounds kasi itong ginagawa ko ay for 1 to 2 years old. And for below 1 year old naman, you must have a total of 12 rounds. Now, let's proceed to the brim. Start the row of your brim with a turning chain made of 2 chains. For the first row, work 2 double crochet into the front loop of the stitch. Yes, we are working on the front loop only. Now, work 2 double crochet into each of the front loop of the stitches until the end of the row. To join the row, slip stitch into the first stitch. Then chain 2 for the turning chain. For row 2 and row 3, work 1 double crochet into each stitches until you reach the end of the row. Now we are done with our hat, let us make the rows. Grab the pink yarn or any color of your choice. Make a slip knot. Make sure that your yarn tail is long enough kasi ito yung papantahin natin sa back part na rows mamaya. Then chain 36. Work double crochet into the 6th chain from your hook. This will be our first V-stitch. Now for another V-stitch, skip 2 chains, then into the next chain, work 1 double crochet, Chain 2 and 1 double crochet. Now we have 2 V stitches. Repeat the pattern of skip 2 chains, then work 1 double crochet, chain 2, and 1 double crochet into the next one until you reach the last chain.
Now we have a total of 11 V stitches for row 1. Chain 3 and turn your work. And this is counted as our first stitch. Now work 5 double crochet into the chain space. This will be the petals of the flower or as known as the shell stitch. Now, slip stitch in between the two V stitch. Then work 6 double crochet into the chain space. Repeat the pattern of a slip stitch in between the V-stitch, then work 6 double crochet into the chain space until you have a total of 8 petals. Now for the remaining 3 V stitches, work 6 half double crochet into the chain space. Slip stitch in between the V-stitch. Repeat the pattern until you reach the last chain space. Chain 1 and cut. Then use a yarn needle to stitch the flower together on the back side. Now for the leaves, chain 8,
Then slip stitch from the second chain from your hook. Single crochet to the next chain. Then half double crochet to the next one. And work double crochet into each of the remaining 4 chains. Chain 2 Then slip stitch into the last chain Chain 2 Then work 1 double crochet into the other side of the chain Next, work 1 double crochet into each of the 3 chains. Then work 1 half double crochet into the next chains. And single crochet into the next one. Then slip stitch into the next chain. And cut your yarn. Using your tapestry needle, insert the yarn tail into this loop Then weave the tails into the back of the stitches Now let's attach it to the back of the rose. So I made 5 pieces of rose na i-attach natin sa harap ng sombrero. Yung ginamit kong yarn sa pag-attach ng roses ay yung yarn in shades of khaki white para mas malinis tingnan pag tinahi natin to sa sombrero. Now we are done with this part, let's make the hair part. Balik na rin nyo lang yung hat.
And for the hair strand, nagkat ng 108 pieces na yarn na may haba na 39.5 inches or 100 centimeter for 1 to 2 years old. 90 pieces naman for 1 year old and below. First, get the 2 piece of yarn, fold it in half. Then, attach it to the back loop of the stitch or kung saan tayo nag-start ng brim part kanina. Then, one piece of folded yarn naman sa kasunod. Ulitin mo lang yung pag-attach ng 2 pieces of folded yarn sa back loop, then 1 piece into the next one until you reach the end. So, alternate lang siya ng 2 pieces and 1 pieces hanggang sa matapos tayo. And we are done with our blossom hat. Ang final length ng braided hair nito ay umaabot ng 14 to 15 inches depende sa pagkakabraid ng buhok kung gano'n mo kasikip or kaluwag siyang braid. Umiiksi kasi siya ng 4 to 5 inches. So pag nagcut kayo ng yarn, siguraduhin nyo na na sobra siya ng 4 to 5 inches doon sa size na gusto nyo kapag nakabraid na siya. Oh, oh, oh.